Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Molly. I am the Happy Soul Coach. I am an intuitive tarot card reader, psychic medium, and spiritual coach. Today I'm going to be doing a reading uh, for our singles, for anybody that's single out there uh, to see what love is coming into your life this year. Okay, so we're going to dive in a little bit deep and see if you've got a new lover coming in, a soulmate, and I'm so excited to do this reading. I cannot wait. Um, I just feel for so many of you, this is going to be the year of love. Um, I've been channeling that a lot. Um, and I'm just very excited to see what, what's going to come out for you guys. But a couple of quick channel announcements first. Uh, thank you guys for all of the feedback um, that you have given me in terms of my changes that I'm making on the channel and the new direction that I'm going towards. I'm very, very excited about it. I have literally been flooded with information from spirit, with ideas from spirit about how to... Um, move this forward. Um, so for some of you, just to give you a little bit of a background, um, I have been on the twin flame journey or experience for three and a half years now and uh, shifting gears a little bit. <laughs> I've worked with so many clients over the years and spirit was really uh, nudging me to move in the direction of helping people detach uh, from that concept and helping them heal. So that's what I'm here to do. I am going to be doing a, a group coaching on this it's called Empower Her, and I cannot wait, you guys. I've been putting this webinar together. I'm so, so, so excited. Um, it's going to be on Tuesday of next week, which is the 11th, and it's going to be at 8.30 p.m. It's going to be 8.30 to 9.30. It's going to be one hour, and there's going to be a Q&A session at the end as well. And so this is going to be for anybody that is looking to completely surrender, looking to detach, or looking to heal uh, from you know the twin flame uh, concept um, anybody that, that is ready to just move on, okay? And trust me when I tell you, you can move on, okay? Um, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what the whole Twin Flame experience and journey is also about. We're going to be doing, um, I'm going to help you clear blocked emotions, um, which are keeping you stuck. And there's just going to be so many tools that I'm going to give you to help you on that path. So if you guys are interested in that, it's $33. If you can't make the live, that is okay. I will send you the recorded version afterwards so you will have that. Um, again, it's going to be Tuesday, January 11th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is going to be in the description box below. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box and on my website as well. I do all different kinds of readings, so definitely check that out. And thank you to you guys who have emailed me. Um, I'm also going to start featuring uh, stories or emails on my channel, with your permission, obviously, anonymously. Uh, if you've been going through a twin flame situation and you have questions about it, um, I'm be more than happy to read your email on the channel and go through that as a as a coaching um, as a coaching as a coach, right? I would go through your email and basically coach you through what's happening in your situation. Okay, so if you guys are interested in that, send me an email. It's Molly at thehappysoulcoach.com, and all of that information is in the description box as well. Thank you guys again for being here. So excited. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So I just want to call in my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, 5D and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know. Now, when I did my deep meditation last night, I was channeling the dragonfly. So the dragonfly is very interesting because it represents transformation. And it also says truth transcends illusion. Okay, and that's exactly the energy that my channel is putting out now. Okay, so it's truth transcends illusion, right? We're breaking down all the illusions of um, this concept and things like that that have gotten people stuck. Um, so I thought that was really interesting that Spirit gave me that message. Last thing, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, I would love to have you here. It helps the channel. And please share this video or share any of the messages on my channel with anybody that you feel needs it. Um, and don't forget to like this video if it resonates with you and leave me a comment below. I love to read through you guys' comments, okay? So let's go ahead and find out for our singles what is coming in in terms of love this year. Oh gosh, wow. Okay, first card out. That didn't even take me long, right? It's the Ace of Cups and I absolutely love this. It's at the center or the top of the reading here. The Ace of Cups represents self-love, 
It represents a big love offer coming in. It's exactly what I've been channeling, you guys. So for a lot of you, this is going, and for a lot of you, this is going to happen this month because an ace is a one and it represents January, right? But the ace of cups is telling me, for those of you that have really been working on yourselves, you've really been kind of coming back to this self-love. It's like as soon as you come back to this self-love, you radiate that vibration out, right? You radiate that vibration out. And uh, that's when the right partner, a divine partner is, is going to come in because you're loving yourself and you're putting out that vibration, right? So I'm seeing for a lot of you, it's going to be January. There's the justice card. Beautiful. And the justice card also represents balance, right? So balancing the scales. So I feel like for you, divine feminine right now, you are, or divine masculine, either one, doesn't matter. My single, my single person, um, you are balancing out your emotions, you're balancing out your masculine and feminine energy, which is so important to also attract, you know, the right partner to you. When we're in a balanced place of, of self-love, that's when they're, you're going to have people knocking on your door. <laughs> okay. I love this. And again, so the justice to me too means that this is also a soul contract. So this is going to be a soulmate type of relationship that comes in for you. Um, I'm also seeing that for, for a lot of you this year, you're going to actually buy a home together. There's going to be some of you that are going to buy a home with this person. Okay. Beautiful. Move in, buy a home. I'm seeing a, a real estate contract coming in. And beautiful that I got the King of Cups. And they're really pointing out the starfish to me on here. So for a lot of you that live like close to the water, some of you are going to meet this person. It's going to be close to a beach or by the sea. Um, or something to do with water, okay? Um, again, there's also a sailboat on here, so maybe you're going to meet somebody out sailing. But this is going to be something that happens around the water or around the beach, okay? And the King of Cups is beautiful because the King of Cups represents somebody that's a very compassionate, right? So this soulmate that's coming in for you is going to be very compassionate, a good communicator, okay? Somebody that talks about their feelings, right? This is a healthy relationship coming in. All right, let's find out a little bit more about this person, please. Okay, wow. We got the tower. Woo! So we've got the two of cups. This is 100% your soulmate, your perfect partner, okay? And I say perfect partner lightly because, listen, nobody's perfect, but there are there is a perfect person for you out there, right? So this is going to be your perfect person, your, your union. It's so beautiful. And we've got the tower here right in the center of the reading. So what I, I'm going to clarify this. And then we've got the five of pentacles. So what I feel about this is that the tower represents a major change coming in. And then we have the five of pentacles, which means being left out in the cold. So I feel that this is the person that is going to stay. And I'm going to clarify this. But this is a person that's not going to leave you out in the cold like a lot of your other relationships or dating have, right? This is going to be the true love, the true person, the soulmate coming in. What is this about? Yep, four cups. So I feel, and the queen of swords. So I feel that what this is saying with the four of cups is there's been a lot of um, men or women that have not seen your value in the past, right? They haven't seen you being worthy and you are 100% worthy. But this is, you know, these people are coming from a place of hurt themselves, right? Um, so I feel like, again, because you were able to bring this back to self-love and because you respect yourself enough, these relationships did not work out. You either left, right? Or you said goodbye to this or, you know, this person left you, but with, you know, thank God, right? Um, I know it hurts, but these relationships were not right for you. Okay. And it was you coming back to who you truly are, Ace of Cups in order to bring in this new person. And we have another Four of Swords, right? So the Four of Swords to me, it's it's a card of rest, right? So again, there's been a period of rest and there's been a period of recovery, a period of healing that's taken place. And now you're ready to bring in this beautiful love. Okay, what else do we need to know, Spirit? I'm gonna pull some Oracle cards, please. So yeah, a lot of you are gonna meet this person in January. It's a soulmate. Ah, the Queen of Swords again. So it's come out twice. So this is somebody that you can be your authentic self with. And I feel like a lot of your past relationships, you haven't been able to be your authentic self because this person was judging you or you were scared that 
you know, that they weren't going to like who you were. Um, this is somebody that you can absolutely be your authentic self with. Now, for some of you, yeah, there's the three of wands. Beautiful. You guys are going to be going on a lot of adventures, okay? Travel, um, having a lot of fun. I feel like this is going to be, there's going to be a mutual respect, okay? A mutual respect between the two of you, okay? Which is very healthy. It's very, um, they're also showing me there's a lot of passion between the two of you. And I just looked at the clock and it was 10, 10. I love that. Uh, the Justice card also represents Libra, okay? So for some of you, this may be a Libra person coming in or someone with Libra dominantly in their chart or a special message for a Libra single person. Okay, three of swords. Yeah, I feel like this is the the final release of all of this pain, right? This is like the 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 person that comes in that um, that makes you realize why all the other ones didn't work out. What's this three of swords about spirit, please? Yeah, there's the ten of pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, this may be that um, either you had there was a divorce or you you got divorced or again a bad breakup or something that's that left you really broken hearted. This could also be for the other person coming in, but both of you have healed from this, okay? Which is really, really, really important, right? We don't ever wanna jump into a relationship right after we went through something traumatic, right? We need to give ourselves time to heal. That's why the Four of Swords came out here. So again, I feel like you guys have gone through similar experiences in the past, right? But you both healed from it and now you're ready and this is going to be a healthy and beautiful relationship. Let's pull some Oracle cards, please. Three. Three seems to be the magic number today. Wow, ah, love it. Okay. Let your friends help you, okay? So let your friends help you. And I feel for a lot of you, this may actually be somebody that your friends are setting you up with. Or maybe you get invited to go somewhere, right, where it's sailing or it's close to an ocean and you're not really sure that you want to go, you should go, okay? This is spirit giving you the nudge. You should go because you, there's something to do with your friends here that are going to help you um, with this meeting, with this um, this really faded meeting is what I'm seeing here. And I got express your love. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And also let go of control issues. It says allow this situation to unfold naturally. So perhaps you, and this is so interesting because this is the law of attraction, right? The law of vibration. Once you surrender and once you let go of control, that's when it comes in. I cannot even tell you guys, like it's happening in my own personal life right now too. It's amazing. It's like once you just say, I don't give a shit, that's when it... <laughs> My phone is ringing off the hook right now, you guys. Like, it is crazy. So, again, letting go of that control, trying to control things, really. And it's so funny because I go back to, to Abraham Hicks, and she says, you don't need to pursue anything. You don't need to pursue anything. Don't chase, right? It's going to come to you when you let go of the control and when you surrender it. And the express your love, I feel like this is you. You've expressed what you've wanted to the universe. And the universe is now bringing it to you. You just have to let go and surrender so they can bring it to you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, so let's pull. Let's see. I'm going to pull from this deck. What do we need to know? I'm going to pull two cards and we'll close out the reading, please. Oh my God, look at this. I got share the love and move. Okay, so look at this. It's two beautiful hearts on here, right? So again, when you give out love, when you share the vibration of love and you share the vibration of self-love, that's when love comes back to you, right? The, the move card to me sort of means um, like you know, there's going to be movement, right? There's going to be movement this year. I'm telling you, big moves. And it's because you've done the healing work. You've done the healing work. And this is also saying to like move. So I feel like, remember I was saying, uh, you're going to get maybe invited to a party or you're going to get invited to go somewhere. And they're saying, move, go, right? Go. This is the push from spirit saying, go. And it's going to kind of be something that's unexpected, right? That's how it always happens. And I love that. Guys, please let me know how this reading resonates. Please leave me a comment below letting me know your thoughts. Um, also, if you guys want, I love this. I want you to put 
what you want to manifest this year as a comment down below. What do you want to manifest? It can be love. It can be money. I just want to hear what you guys want to manifest so I can put my good vibes and my energy towards that for you guys so you can have the best year yet. If you guys want to sign up for the webinar, all that information is below. And if you want to do a personal reading to check into your personal situation, I am available. That information is in the description box below as well. I'm sending you guys so much love. Namaste. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.